I'm uh, just going to show you a little bit about how we do a tough form system. Uh, it's a uh, product made by ARC Accessibility Resources. Uh, they uh, make these structural shower pans um, that allow us to just pull the subfloor and put this uh, pan down. Um, cool thing about this uh, is it's a, a pretty quick and easy installation. Um, we can do our, our DITRA along with it. And then we just uh, screwed around the perimeter, put a couple of four screws in the middle. Uh, plumber set the drain to the right height. And actually, on this one, we had him set it up a little high so we could uh, make some adjustments on the height of the pan. And uh, we're about to put the drain in. So as soon as we get the drain in and we're about to waterproof, I'll show you the next step. So it's a three-piece system and he's putting the first piece down for uh, gluing it solid onto the P-trap. Gonna set the flange itself. He's putting some acrylic caulk around it. Uh, the system requires acrylic caulk because the waterproofing will stick to that. It won't uh, refuse the waterproofing. Now the instructions tell you to use a speed square, a framing square, to uh, tighten this. <clears throat> we found that it didn't have enough leverage, so we made our own little tool. Just a little bit of a update on the project, our current project, got all the orange down. Dietra heat is in. Uh, I made a video and I will post it probably before this one about our process here uh, on our um, barrier free shower installations and how we're doing our den shield. Um, so far I think it's one of the best methods I've found and I've done pretty much all of them. Got a little niche going on there. Uh, kind of like these little purple uh, niches uh, they're a little bit flexible here but once you get it set it's it's good to go adjustable shelf so we'll, we'll put that in as we uh, tile up so we can get it on a nice line and playing with the uh, tile got a laser set up ready for it to do its thing and then i noticed as we were setting up this laser laser we've got our layout coming right in the middle we'll have a grout line right in the middle of this uh, entryway and it actually almost is dead center of this door I would say that I'm a genius and such a great tiler that I, I set that up, but it would just so happen that it worked out that, that, that way. But look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but we put a couple of cans. Actually, the, the one closest to me here is a can fan combo, and the other one's a, just a regular can light. Um, I don't know if you can see that laser line, but that's how we do it at TNT. Line it up with the can lights, doorways, thresholds to the shower. That's how good we are. Uh, this room's kind of a... An enigma. Uh, we've got the toilet going in, obviously there. There used to be uh, the shower used to be here, and uh, there was a linen closet here. We were going to do linen cabinets, but she, she decided not to. For now, do the cabinets. We may end up doing those at a later date, um, but I think she's going to get some stuff to put in here, um, some type of storage unit uh, for here. But yeah, we've got the uh, vanities going in there. Move the light locations. Going to put a um, an upper uh, countertop cabinet in the middle there, tower. Uh, yeah, so we should have this floor completely tiled by tomorrow. 